I have always been fascinated by photography and I own, you know, expensive DSLR cameras and lots of expensive lenses. You know, even though I had all this gear, which would take phenomenal pictures, I found myself taking more and more pictures with my cell phone because it was there with me all the time. That's when it occurred to me that if we can make a camera which has the same quality and features as a DSLR camera, but it is in a form factor that can fit in my pocket and stay with me all the time, then I'd be taking much better pictures all the time. The big change in photography, of course, is that it's exploded globally in the last five years. We send billions of uh, pictures as messages every day. As people have gotten drawn into the fold, it's created this insatiable demand for better and better photography who hasn't been at the concert, and they've said, oh, well, let me get a picture of the performer, and there's a grainy kind of nothing there, right? Over the last 150 years or so, you know, of photography, camera design and architecture hasn't really evolved very much. What we're trying to do here now is to capitalize on all of the innovation that has resulted in very inexpensive camera modules and inexpensive high-quality lenses. We're trying to replace a big lens with multiple small lenses and small sensors. One of the things we do to keep our cameras very thin is something called folded optics. You have an aperture, light comes in through the aperture, strikes a mirror, and then travels down the barrel of lenses laid horizontally in the body. We are actually using 16 different camera modules at three different focal lengths. The users can then simply pinch and zoom the picture, and depending upon what field of view they finally end up selecting, 10 of the 16 modules will fire and take pictures. And then we use sophisticated computational imaging algorithms to combine those 10 pictures to basically create one really high quality picture. Our software can figure out how to set the exposures differently for different cameras to get great low light performance. The other incredible thing we offer is really infinite depth of field control. Everything's kind of in focus when they compose it, but I know I'm taking a picture of you and it's a portrait and I want a nice blur in the background. I can go set that after the fact. This isn't just moonshot thinking. We put some of the best talent in Silicon Valley together here at Light. Our computational imaging team and our hardware team have been working for over two years to bring this to reality. Now, we've partnered with the world's leading contract manufacturers to actually deliver a product to consumers. Why I'm really excited about this camera is that it puts the focus back on great photography, not just great technology. Really, the power of, of photography is the ability to capture the magic of every moment in every day. And you have to have something that's portable enough and high enough quality so that you really are capturing the emotion of the moment, not just the facts. That's what we're excited about delivering to the market.